What is up Shark Army, it's me Game Shark, and welcome back to another video. Today we're jumping into a new farming RPG game that has only just got released to Steam today, an early access version called Pumpkin Days. This game has been on my radar for a while now, it's been in my wishlist on Steam for a long time. I included this game in the upcoming farming RPG games that I was most looking forward to this year and this is the first one on that list to be released. I've been excited to play this for a while, I know a lot of you guys have as well, it looks amazing. This is a traditional farming RPG game, very similar to what we used to around this kind of genre of games, but also it's got a little bit of like a dating RPG game around it as well. You have to get relationships up, build them up, you can get girlfriends and boyfriends and married and date people. It's very uh, interactive like socially, as well as doing the duties of farming. Very similar to your Harvest Moon and Stardew Valleys. It's 3D, it looks beautiful, so let's get into it. If you guys like what you see, you can check out the Early Access right now on Steam and give it a play after the video, obviously. You can determine if you want to get it or not, if you like the looks of it. So let's get into this. I've never jumped into it. Single player. I've never played a demo or any gameplay whatsoever, so it's all new to me as well. Just bear in mind, it is an early access game, so it might come across bugs and glitches, and, it's, uh, and it also might lack some content as of yet. But here we are. This is our character creation. Oh my god, we have got the biggest chest ever. <laughs> we can get bigger. Oh! <laughs> Oh my god, I don't know if I can show that. That's that's crazy. Right, let's uh, we, we don't want that big of a chest. Oh my god, we can even get a big bum bum. Woohoo! He's looking a little bit uh, on the big side, so let's make him a bit thinner. Let's give him some muscle. Oh, okay, he's had a good summer. <laughs> let's bring this down. Oh, too skinny. Okay, that looks good for the body for me. Our name is going to be, of course, Sharky, because I always call myself Sharky in these kind of games. Now we can give him some clothing, some typical farming gear. Give him a little dress? No, of course not. Should we go red or blue? Um, I'll go red, it's my favourite colour. Now we can change our hairstyle. Oh, awesome! I know customization is a very big thing in this game, so if you do like that kind of stuff, and then this game's going to be for you. What kind of hairstyle should we go with? Oh god, look, there's even a mirror here. That's amazing. You can actually see up close how they look. Some of these are a bit crazy and wild. I mean, look at this. <laughs> what the hell? Talk about a bedhead. Jesus. It's going to be blue eyes because I have actually got blue eyes in real life. And I've got that kind of hairstyle. I'll make it look as similar to me as possible in a game. It's a little bit hard to do, but what kind of eyes shall we go with? So many different ones. Oh, look at that. A wide open expression. Like, yeah, he's excited. I can just go with some normal ones. God, you can even change the eyebrows. Some of these are so quirky. <laughs> it is crazy how much detail of customization has been put into this game already. And this is just the character. Can't just go with the normal ones. They're all a little bit crazy and wild. Um, can even change the mouth now. <laughs> Some of these are wild. I love it. There's so many to choose from. It's crazy, guys. I've never seen this uh, many customization just on a, a character before. Let's just go for a nice normal smile, showing his teeth, give him some makeup, but we don't want to do that. You can change the personality of your character, which is crazy as well. So we can be idle, anxious, confident. Oh, look at that. He can be cool. He's a cool farmer. Cute. Oh my God. Goofy, innocent, and shy. You know what? Let's be confident. We might be better with the ladies, you know? Our favorite food out of all these, cookies, pizza, ice cream, juice, pie, salads. You know what? I do love myself a pizza, so let's go with that. And my birthday will be in summer, the second. Because my birthday in real life is July the second, so that's classed as the summer season. So I think that's it, guys. Let's go with that. There's Sharky. Do you like him? It looks cool to me. That was incredible, the amount of customization. Now, one thing about this game is you can choose two different places to live. There's Pumpkin Vale or Wahoo Beach, which sounds a little bit like a, a sim place if you play The Sims, because obviously when you get down and dirty in that game, you can actually Wahoo with The Sims. So we can go with a river town or a tropical paradise. Now, don't be worried where you pick, because eventually you, they will connect together in the game and you can visit both of them, but this is just where your farm's going to be. Now, I don't want to do the Tropical Paradise just yet. I'm going to go for the nice river town. It's going to look a little bit more traditional and fit the theme of a farm. So let's do that. And like I said, we can go to the Tropical Paradise in time throughout the game somewhere. And here we are. So speaking of The Sims, it is a little bit similar to that. You know, you're controlling your character, talking to NPCs around in the game. We could slide left and right. I should wait for the secretary. 
Okay. Well, we've got a game menu as well. Obviously, this is we can report bugs, change the settings, we can save. I love the 3D uh, detail of this. We can't move anywhere yet. We've got to wait for someone. Oh, there she is. Look at the looks of this game. It's beautiful, nice 3D. It's a little bit like an anime style kind of game. But um, we can just click on the character to talk. Ahem, excuse me, are you Sharky? Yes, Tessa, I am. You can zoom in, look. Oh, people are just walking by. My name is Tessa. I was sent to welcome you. So, um, uh, welcome to Pumpkin Vale. I'm so happy you're here. We've been needing another farmer for a while now. Well, here I am. As promised in the ad, we'll be giving you the property on a major discount. Oh, I'm so sorry, I'm, am I rambling? I'm rambling again, aren't I? Yes, just hurry up and get on with it, I'm sorry. I wanted to show you around town, but I must return to the office. Oh, here's a map of the town to help you get around. When you're done looking at the map, please come to the mayor's office. Okay, see you. So here we go, we can bring up the map. That's our town farm plot. We've got a temple over here, a school, a library. Oh, wow, there's a post office. A clothing store, now this is insane. There's actually a school in the game, as well as a vet, so you, for your pets. There's a furniture store, there's a bar, saloon, jewelry. I like this. And it looks like there's some other buildings around that haven't been labeled yet, but there's a farm shop there. That's probably where we're gonna get all of our crops and stuff. And then there's also the animal shop. So it's quite a big little map. And there's the river farm plot. Oh, that might be ours. Town or the river, I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, what do we need to do? Did it say we need to go to Oh, here's Woohoo Beach, so you can choose between the different worlds. So this is the world map. So Pumpkin Vale is over here and Woohoo Beach is over there. And we can actually look at both of those. So in the Woohoo Beach, we've got a news station, a police station. Now this is what I wanted in a farming RPG game. You know, some buildings like a, a police shop and stuff like that. Let's go to the mayor's house. Where else is the mayor's house? <laughs> Let's just find out where that is first. So we're in Pumpkin Square. I don't know where it's going to be. Maybe let's just take a look around and see what we can uh, bump into. So this is the like request board. People need potatoes, daisies, you know, and you can accept those and get a bit of money and XP for it. We're inside a shop here. So this is Julian, is he the mayor? Well, hello there. You must be Sharky. I'm so excited to see you here. I'm sure you are eager to start exploring the town. So let me get set up. Do you have the property ticket with you? Check your bag to see if you remember to bring it. I also have some things to give you as well. Now, for some reason, the music keeps coming on, even though it's on zero. I've got the music off, but it's playing. I like to have my own music into these videos. So, um, I don't know why that's come on. So, there's Tessa. Look how confident we look. Oh, he's looking good. Okay. He's got big feet. Jesus. So, press I for inventory. We can get a property voucher. And um, a voucher with a discount on some farmland. Take this to the mayor to claim your reward. Okay, so what do I do here, then? Okay, we can put it into our inventory, number slot number one. The property ticket lets you get the land on loan. You'll have to pay it back before you decide to expand. Don't worry, you can take your time paying it back. There is an ATM at the post office on Fawn's Apple Lane, where you can pay off the any debt. All right, go right ahead and pick which one you would like. You can't change it later, so make sure you pick the right one. Oh, so we can get the river lot, the field lot, or the town lot. Oh, which one should I go for, guys? We can live near a river, a field, or a town. To make it more farmy, let's just go with a field, why not? Dirty Daisy Ranch. Jasmine Farm. Now we're gonna call this the Reef because it goes in theme with the with the shark. Here is a bed for your house. If you're not sure how to place it, Vera at the furniture store can tell you how to decorate your house with furniture. Make sure you sleep for enough hours to recover your energy after working. I also asked some of the townsfolk to show you how you can make some extra money with other skills. I'm also giving, going to give you a chest to store some items. Ooh, we're giving us everything here. We're getting right started. This is an easy start to be a farmer. There's quite a bit you need to learn, so here, take this journal. You can use it to keep track of everything. Today, you can take your time getting used to the town. However, before you leave the town, go exploring. Please complete most of these tasks on the journal and get your farm started. I will send you a farming quota by the mail. What's the farming quota? Oh god, this is going to be a lot of talking in this game, guys, because this is what it's all about. Not just a farming simulator, it's also a little bit like a dating and social uh, simulator too. I'm going to skip through this and we'll get to the farm and I'll check out some of the uh, the farming on this game. I don't want to bore you too much with this little introduction. If you want to see like a, a let's play of this and we do a full series of it, see if we can become the best farmer and get married, let me know down below and hit that uh, like button. So let's get the journal up. Go to my farm. Okay, let's do that first. So we picked the field farm. So whereabouts is that? So this was the town farm. Uh, the field. Okay, we're close to the farm shop. That's a great choice. So now we need to go. Oh, if you keep the map up, look at that. You can actually see where you're going. That's cool. 
That is amazing, in fact. So if we go down here, follow this road all the way down, we should be able to bump into it. But I'm not going to have that up just right now, because I want a good look around. This looks like a blacksmith. Nice little building. Can we go in here? Opens at 9am. Okay, it's not quite open just yet. Loads of little houses where people are living. This is amazing. It feels so good. Just walking around the streets and seeing these 3D buildings like this. I do like the looks of it. These little signs look. I think we're getting close to the farm. Uh, as you can see, we're walking by the way. <laughs> and then if we go a little bit of a right here, down this way. We should be close to our farm. This should be the animal shop, which it is, as you can see. If we're going to take a look at the animals, guys, this is what they look like. Nancy the chicken. We've got cows. Oh, look how good they look. The 3D style of them is amazing. And ducks and stuff. Oh, the sheep look cool. This looks incredible. I'd love to have our own animals so we can feed them and look after them, get the products. But let's get on our farm. Maybe we can do a little bit of farming ourselves. Why is the music playing? I've turned this off. For some reason I can't turn the music off, that's going to be annoying and uh, hopefully you guys don't mind it. I don't want it to be too loud either. Okay, so this is our farm, as you can tell straight away. There's a shipping bin here, so this is where we're going to sell our stuff. It's just in front of the farm, there's the gate. And look at this. We've got rubbish and logs and weeds that we've got to clear up. We've got a big field here. Oh look, we've got a house over there with some mills. And this is Orpheus, you must be the new farmer. See, you look pathetic. I beg your pardon? My name is Orpheus, Pumpkin Vale's main farmer. This is our competition, guys. I was told to teach you about farming. Well, when you're ready, let's get this over with. This guy seems a little bit of a douchebag. I can't believe they let you buy this sweet plot of land for farming. You don't even know the basics of how it even works. Well, here, take my old tools. They're half busted, so it's not like I want them. Equip them from your inventory, then show me that you know how to use a hoe. Oh, I do. I know how to use your mum. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what am I doing? Plant some seeds and water your crops with a watering can. If you somehow run out of water, place the well the mayor gave you on the property and just use it to fill your watering can. If you're too dull to remember all of that, I guess you can talk to me again. <laughs> this guy is an idiot. I do not like him. Got a wooden shovel. I'm, I'm clicking on them. Oh, we've got a well. Can we? What are these? Are these actually, um, okay, so maybe we need to build some stuff that we've got. So we go in the inventory, we can get the well, place it down here in the uh, hot bar. Then we've also got a watering can, a wooden hoe, a wooden shovel. So the tools right now aren't that great, okay, but we'll get there. We've also got two potato seeds, potato! Now, what do we have to do? The well, place. Oh, look at that, you can just like move it wherever you want. That's awesome. We'll just place it down right now, you know, I don't really, uh, oh, look at that animation, that was great. Yeah, I'm loving this game already, the animations are amazing. So can we just water these? Oh no, we need to use the hoe, uh, the shovel. So, there we go, look at that. The animations are amazing in this, such a good job. Now, what, what else did he say? <laughs> Maybe we are dumb, <laughs> I forgot what he said. Now let's use the hoe, we, we know how to farm guys, we surely know how to farm. So if I just do some slots like here yes we know how to do this so we've only got two seeds right now so let's equip them there we go and then we get the watering can we know how to do this oh it turns like a black color it looks burnt more than watered but oh well we did it let's go talk to him well i guess you didn't do too bad yes we are professional farmers you know how long i've been doing farming games on this channel Farming is my middle name although that was all really basic stuff so don't be too proud of yourself all right then obvious I mean, what even name is that? Shark is such a better name. Keep an eye out for your stamina. So this is underneath the day. It's spring the first, by the way. And the time's going uh, every second is a minute in the game. Watering can up here. I like the indication of how much it's telling you. I love just the, the UI and the looks of the game. It's just, I don't know, it feels very smooth and it's easy on the eye. I love it. It's really nice. So stamina's here. Okay, we've got that. It'll go down whenever you swing at all. If it runs out, you'll pass out and look even more of a nerd than you already do. Oh, my heart. This guy is killing me. Anyway, here's some seeds. You need to make sure you water your plants once a day. You can tell by the colour of the soil if they've been watered or not. Oh, and here's a sickle to clear out the weeds. If you manage to grow anything, you can sell it by putting it in a shipping bin in front of your property. It'll get picked up the same day, and you receive your payment through the mail. I guess that's about it. If you forgot how to do anything, just go to my library. Smell you later, nerd. Oh, okay, this is our rival. He must like want a competition with us on all the ladies and also in the farm. 
Oh, nice little noise. So do we get any more seeds? Yeah, he gave us two turnips. Yeah, okay, well, let's go and put these in the ground too. Why the hell not? Well, I'm liking this game so far. I really am. I don't know what you guys think of it. You know, if you like the looks of it, would you play it yourself? Let me know down below in the comments. Maybe there's some improvements that you want to see change. Also, let me know because the developer of this game uh, has been in contact with me and he does watch the channel, so... If you've got any questions or tips and stuff to help him out, some feedback, put it down in the comments and I'm sure the developers will have a little look around, read through your comments and that, answer some questions. So, yeah, that would be awesome. Uh, we also got a sickle. Yeah, we can put this down here. Should we clear some weeds? I keep pressing escape to get off of that. Um, so let's see how this works. Oh, yes. Look at that. Picked up fodder. So, obviously, you use this. Just like Harvest Moons, you used to be able to scythe the grass and get fodder. That's what they used to call it. In uh, Stardew Valley, obviously, they call it animal food or hay, but it's fodder in this. Classic. Look at that. What's he still doing here, by the way? Are you stuck on a log, mate? <laughs> Sup, nerd? Don't even bother trying to talk to Jackie. She's way too cool to be seen with a nerd like you. Oh, so Jackie. It seems to be somebody that he likes. Well, maybe we'll get in there first. I, I like competition. Now, we haven't got a pickaxe or an axe yet, so... That would be good to uh, try and get one of those so I can uh, chop some of these branches down and stuff. But let's go inside our house, our little shed. I mean, look how small this is. Because we did actually get a chest and a bed. So let's place these down. We've also got some fodder. I'll keep that there. So let's get our bed down, number six. Oh, look, you can just place things down. How do we rotate? I, I need to know how to rotate. Can we rotate? Oh, you can jump. Spacebar. Nice. Oh, I don't know how to, um, to rotate. That's not good. Can I check the controls? Yes, we can. Oh, it's just R and L. I was pressing all the keys and the ones I didn't press are R and L. There we go. That's better, guys, isn't it? That is better. It's a little bit off-grid. Then get the chest and we can uh, give this a, a rotate. Cheeky rotate. Oh, which way is going to be the front? And there we go. We've also got a chest now so we can store some things away, which is cool. We can go to sleep. We've got a little bit of stamina left. It's 4 p.m. nearly. So let's just go and explore the town, maybe talk to some people. The music stopped now, which is awesome. But yeah, let's do this. We can't sprint any, any faster than this. Unless I'm pressing the wrong key. No, there's definitely no sprint button there. Unlock camera. What does that mean? Oh, so the camera, it's whatever way you keep it, it will stay there. It not automatically go back to um, position. So this is Alex. Howdy, Howdy y'all. <laughs> She's a very farmer lady. Y'all must be that new farmer that was supposed to move in. My name's Alex. I work over at the ranch. So if you ever need any critters, or if you just want to talk a spell, just give a holler. Oh yeah, I need to teach y'all about taking care of animals. Let me know when you're ready and we get started. That was my poor um, American farming accent. But look at the animals in here. We've got some babies. We've got a baby sheep, a baby goat, a pig. This is cool. Y'all looking to learn about animal care, huh? Well, shoot, I reckon I could show you what I know. <laughs> I'll have you do some of my choring and be... And by the end of it, you'll know just about everything is to know. Okay, so we're doing a, a little bit of a animal care, are we? What's going on here? Oh, look at this. There's some poo-poo. There's some poo-poo on the floor. Oh, we got some milk. Let's go. We're caring for the animals. We just cleaned up the poo-poo as well. I, I, I want to change the camera back, whatever I did. The unlock camera. That was so much better. Now the camera automatically goes to the starting position, which is amazing. <laughs> This animal isn't ready to be collected from. Oh, we're getting quite tired as well. You can only you can only do this on a farm. I'm on a farm. What are y'all saying? So what's this here? I should feed my animals. Okay. Hey, look at this. So we've fed the animals. We've got the milk from him. We're doing a little bit of a task here. Can we go back and talk to her? Did we get the milk? Well, to begin with, y'all can't take care of animals if they don't go nowhere to sleep. You'll be needing a barn or a coop from the Eddie at the home from Eddie at the home store. But he'll only build one if you've got no outstanding debt. So be sure to get that all squared away at the post office. So we have got a little bit of debt that we need to sort out. Animals eat once a day, so you'll be, you'll be needing a feeding trough and feed. If you don't, you won't be getting any products out of them. And they could even get sick. Oh. Animals also poop on the regular. So you'll be needing a shovel to keep their living quarters tidy. If you don't, they'll get sick. So animals can get sick in this, which is... Reminding me of the Harvest Moon days because obviously in Stardew Valley animals will never die never get sick if you don't feed them or Care for them. They'll just not produce anything for you But it's nice that the animals can get sick because then you can go to the vets and care for them And it makes you actually want to care for them because you know the consequences of them being sick So you don't want that and we can keep them extra happy by brushing them. This is amazing Keep them happy and cows will give you milk which you can get by simply walking up and milking them by hand by the udder And sheep can be sheared for wool and chickens will lay eggs in their coop. If you give some feed and a shovel 
How about you feed and milk the cow? I've already done it. I've already done it. Oh, it gave us a, a better shovel. Look at this. A poop sack. Ugh. So we already did this, so we can probably just talk again. We did it without even talking to her, so... My granddad may seem like a crotchety old fart, but... Well, no, he is. But he's nice too, I swear. <laughs> okay. So we could buy animals here and sell animals, but we've done all the tasks, so... Uh, we can just get on with this. Probably best to go to sleep. And we'll go into the proper town tomorrow and see what we can do. Apparently there's still some more tasks to do, but I think we did everything right. And look at all the animals we can buy. Brown and black lamb, pink piglet. This is amazing. But, um, yeah, it's saying we've still got the task to do, but for some reason, she's not saying anything else. So we're going to have to just leave. Yes, we'll leave. Okay, um, let's go back to the farm. It's getting quite late and dark. And we'll go to sleep and we'll play through another day. And we'll try and speak to a few new people and see if we can get some relationships up. And check out some of the people around town as well. I cropped some need water in tomorrow, so that's pretty cool. Um, the shovel needs going back in there. Our shovel, that is. And let's go to sleep. Sleep! Oh, we can actually set an alarm. That is great. So we can sleep until 4.20am. If we get nine hours sleep, let's do that. That is great. I like that. You can sleep whenever you like. And it plays you a little lullaby. Oh, a nice animation of a yawn there. I'm impressed by this game so far. I know it's only early access, but it is pretty cool. Oh, look. These are starting to come up. That's amazing. Let's get these watered. You can definitely see the colour, which is nice. I know in some farming games, when you water a crop, it's hard to tell the difference because the colour is so similar. But they've definitely done the job here of making it really dark, so you 100% know. Okay, so let's go. Jump over a tree. Oh, he jumps really high. <laughs> that is cool. Okay, I see the sun's coming up. I see some people walking around. Let's go and talk to some people. Introduce ourselves. Check out some of the shops as well. Who are you? Is this... The, oh, this is the farmer lady. Uh, Alex, we've already spoke to you, so I'm not going to bother. I want to talk to some new people. Oh, here's horrible grumpy pants who lives next door to us with his farm. Look how good his farm is. All right, I'm not going to tell him that. But he's got animals. He's got... Oh, he's got a barn. I don't want to tell him how good it is. Oh, we found a poppy. We just picked it up on the floor. Oh, there's another one. They might be good to sell with a little bit of income. How do we check our own money? Yeah, we've got 50 coins up there. It's in our inventory. Okay. Doing a bit of exploration. Some poppies. Look at this. There's like a, a big lake here. Looks amazing. Is there anything else we can forage? I'm guessing you can do a little bit of fish. Can we swim? Nope. <laughs> uh oh. Get out of the water. Sharky! Sharky! Oh. Don't swim, guys, in this game. You, you, you'll break. Okay. <laughs> have we got a fishing rod? No, we don't have a fishing rod, do we? I was going to say. There's a barbecue grill here. What would I like to do? We can't cook anything just yet. We've got no stuff, but that's pretty cool to know. Can we harvest these things? No. Finish more tasks. Oh, yeah, the journal. Uh, visit the post office. And the blacksmith. Okay, well, let's go and uh, find the post office. That'll be quite good, because we've got that debt that we've got to pay off, haven't we? So, whose farm is this? This must be... Oh, we're on the river one. So, if you chose the river, guys, this is what it would look like. Right next to that big river and lake there. I'm happy with the one we chose, though. We live right next to the farm shop, so buying animals and stuff and seeds and crops. Quite useful. Oh, we got something from the mail. Okay, well, we're not at home right now, so... The post office is just down here. As you can see, it's near... Is that Fawns? Yeah, Fawns Apple Lane. So we're nearly there. I love the little map. And here it is. The beautiful post office. And as you can see, there's a letter here, which is for us. Uh, the farm quota for spring. This season is 10 potatoes, 10 turnips, 10 kidney beans, strawberries, barley, lettuce, milk, and chicken eggs. There's a lot of crops in this game, by the way. Additional payment of 100 gold per crop. Oh, and 100 gold per animal product will be sent. So I've got to tick these off. Is this something that they're requesting? I'm not sure how that works just yet. But here is the post office, and this is Hyun J Ho. What a name. Okay, well, what you got to say? So you're supposed to be a farmer or something? Is that supposed to be impress me? Unless you've got something to mail, don't waste my time. Oh god, the people in this town aren't very nice. Oh yeah, the mayor asked me to tell you how the mail works. When you're ready, I guess, you can talk to me again. I guess I'm supposed to welcome you to the post office. Make sure to check the mailbox outside for mail. If you don't, I'm just going to throw your mail out. When you enter the post office to the right is the ATM. It is against the wall. Oh, it's right there. You can pay off any debts there. If you don't, you can't upgrade your house or have any new structures built on your farm. Not like I care what you do. Oh, and one more thing. If you need to sell anything, we put a shipping bin in front of your property. All you need to do is put whatever you want to sell in the bin and we'll pick it up the same day. However, we're not going to deliver your payment to you. You need to stop by the post office and get your payment from the mailbox. That's it. Oh, okay, that's a cool idea. I like the, I like the post office. 
you know, you got to pay off your debt there. You got to go and collect your letters from there. It's quite cool. And obviously, this is the people who sells and collects your stuff. If you need help with anything else, don't ask me. Just go to the library. Okay. So that quest is done. Work on farming quota. I need to finish in as much of farming quota as I can. So obviously, you've got to do some of the quests on there. We need to visit the farm shop with Sebastian, the local blacksmith, furniture store. Okay, we've got to visit a lot of places. You owe 1,000 gold. Oh, guys, we've got to pay that off. That's crazy. That's quite a lot of money. You need to be good enough friends to enter the people's houses as well, which is another good feature that I like. So let's go to the blacksmith we need to go. What else did it say? The library, maybe. Let's go see. There's a clinic there. We're going to have to visit a lot of places. So so this is the clinic. Let's go talk to Tanis. Hey, sicko. You are sick, right? If you're not, why are you talking to me? I just want to introduce myself. Oh, all right. I'm Tennis, and I work at the clinic. Now, are we done here, or are you going to get sick soon? Oh, my God. You're not very nice, are you? Oh, look, there's somebody else here. This is Takio. Hello there, champ. You must be the new farmer in town. I'm Dr. Tankana. Takanang? What the? Takanaka. <laughs> but feel free to also call me Takio. All right, fair enough, Takio. And it sounds doctor as you can probably guess. If you're lucky, I won't have to see you too often, huh? Farming is a lot of work, so make sure you rest up and eat well to keep your energy up. If you work too hard and pass out, you'll end up at my clinic. I'll, t I'll take good care of you, of course, but you get charged a medical fee by the clinic. Stay healthy now, okay? So it's the same as any other farming game out there. If you fall below your stamina, you'll pass out and you'll get sent to the clinic and you'll get charged the money. This, of course, is the library. So, the librarian is harsher. Oh, gosh, like, I didn't mean to ignore you. Oh, hello, you're new. My name is Harsha, and I work at the public library. If you have any questions about anything, please stop by. We have books on farming, fishing, cooking, mining, and more. I've got books with all the information you need. Okay, fair enough. Hey, Junior. I'm Jamie. I moved out here to be a school teacher, but to be honest, there aren't a lot of kids around here yet. Well, there will be when I'm done with the ladies. I can't believe you've done this. Oi, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so I mostly just do free lectures for anyone who's interested. Good to meet you. Okay, so... I'm guessing we can have children and they will go to school. Why else would there be a school in this game if there's no kids in town? So uh, that's quite exciting if that can actually happen. What is this place, by the way? What is this? It looks like some kind of museum. Where are we? Oh, it's this, oh, this is the school. Okay. So there's no kids, but I don't understand why else there would be a school in the game if you can't use it just yet. So we'll keep an eye out for that. Okay, so we've done just about everything there. Now let's go down. There's a vet. There's also a town hall. We can visit those. There's a bar, clothing shop, home improvement, furniture store. There's a few more places we can visit, so... Who are you? Rose. What was that girl's name that that guy, our rival, told us not to talk to? Was it Jackie or something? Oh, hi. I'm Rose. Guy. I sew clothes for clothing's, for the clothing store. I guess that's about it. Welcome to Pumpkin Vale. Okay, well, you, you seem alright so far. Oh, so obviously the town hall is here. We've already been here before. This is obviously the mayor, Julian. Did you manage to settle in all right? If you're not sure about something, I encourage you to visit the library. They have books on farming and everything useful. It's open late though. It's open late too, so check it out when you have a chance. And this is the assistant, Tessa. She's quite nice. I like the looks of Tessa. It's nice. Maybe she's a wife candidate. We'll see. We'll have to use her charm. I hope you're settling in all right. Be sure to make some friends around town. The more you talk to everyone, the more they'll open up to you. Ah. People also love it when you help them with their bulletin board requests. It's in front of the mayor's office, so check it out when you have time. That's quite cool. Oh look, we can actually go upstairs too. Anything up here? No, no, no. Well, we've got a nice balcony view. Let's jump down. Yes. No fall damage in this game. So this, is this the saloon or the bar? Sophia's Bar. And it's open not till 7pm, so obviously it's a nighttime thing. There's two new buildings here. We've got a jewellery store, so I'm guessing you need to buy the ring and stuff to marry and also gifts. This is a nice little shop. Yes. Claudio. Oh, I thought you was a girl, but you're not. You're a guy. Who is this vision of loveliness that stands before me? You are the new farmer, yes? Hi, my dove. I'm Claudio. If you feel the need to sparkle, come to Claudio's boutique anytime. Okay, well, there we go. If we need to buy anything that sparkles, Claudio's the guy. What's this place? Oh, this is the hairdressers. So we can actually uh, come and get a haircut whenever we like by this girl, D. Now, she looks kind of cool, punk rock. I don't do touch-ups. My haircuts are supposed to be that way. Oh, wait, I didn't do your hair, did I? It shows. Well, I'm D. You want a haircut? I'm your girl, all right? Okay, so if we want to change our appearance, we know where to come. This is cool. This is a nice town. I like it. We've got everything that we need. Okay, there's some other people around here. Look at this girl. This is 
Kamuko. Oh, she's quite nice as well. She's a little bit of a, like a, a gothic style girl. Foo, 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 foo. What the hell was that? A tasty new morsel has found its way into my web. Oh, okay. She's a little bit creepy. I don't know if I like her. Oh, that's a window and I'm trying to climb in. <laughs> I'm trying to get through the window. That's not going to work. Let's try the door. So this is where we could buy clothing, which is cool. I like that idea. So this, we've got three people here. Rose, Iris and Dahelia. Dahil Dahila. Dahlia. Dahlia. <laughs> Hi, bunny. Okay, she's a bit flirty. She's quite nice as well, though. She's got yellow wellitons. Yellow wellies. I'm Iris. I work at the clothing shop with my sisters. Oh, so these are all sisters. I do all the modeling and I like maintain the store's aura. <laughs> Yours is really glowing. If you need fashion advice or like spiritual advice, come see me, okay? Now she's pretty crazy. Did that just... Look at that. The animation of the leaves moving when you walk through them. It's a little bit weird, but it works. All right. Okay, Honey. Dahlia. 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 That's the name. Hi, honeybee. <laughs> I'm Dahlia and I run the clothing shop with my sisters. If there's anything to, at all that you need or you'd like to just chat, please come and talk to me. Okay, she's friendly. I like the likes of Dahlia. Okay, is that everywhere here? What's this building? This is the vet clinic. So if your pets or animals are sick, we know who to come to. Dr. Alec. Hey. Hey, fam. Fam. Hey, fam. Are you the new farmer I've heard about? <laughs> Such a gangster. Hey, fam. Well, it's good to meet you. I'm Alec. If you ever get animals, I'm the town vet. Hopefully we won't have to see each other much. But just in case, you know where to find me. So at least we're interacting with people and we're seeing people, you know, it's, it's all good. So where else did we not see around here? Uh, we went everywhere there. Furniture store. Did we go to the furniture store? I don't think we did, did we? Okay, well, let's work our way to the clove, the furniture store, which is just here somewhere. There it is. Oh, we've just missed it. 4 p.m. Who was this guy that I've just seen? Hi. Jim. <laughs> hey there, pal. I'm Jim. Just Jim. Huh? I don't really do anything, I just kind of hang out at the bar. If you want a drinking buddy, stop by and hang out. Alright, gym mate. I remember that. Whoa, look at this place. This is the music store. Zoe and Crazy Ear. Oh, this is Jackie. Hey, kid. Oh my god, that voice, by the way. You that farmer everyone's losing their mind over. <laughs> you don't look like much to me. Nah, I'm just messing with you, kid. You're alright. Swing by my place if you ever want to pick up some music or just want to jam for a while. Okay, well, I don't know if I'm into Jackie. I'll, I'll let the other guy have her. <laughs> I'm not into rocker girls like that. Hey. Zoe, oh, she's she's pretty cool. Hey, babe. Oh, wow, already she's a little bit flirty. You're a new face. But you're that new farmer everyone's been talking about. I hear that stuff is hard work. So if you ever need to take a load off, come by my bar, okay? We're open till 4 a.m. if you're that type that likes to stay up late. I certainly am. Well, that's pretty cool. We've got a music store. Oh, hello, D. You're the crazy one, right? Who's this? We've got Tucker. Dude. Ah, this is a cool dude. Look at him. Dude. Totally awesome. You're the farmer, right? Right on, bro. <laughs> you ever want to get your grub on? You hit me right up. All right. The mayor asked me to teach you how to cook. Oh, just talk to me again, bro, when you're ready. So is, is he a chef or something? Okay, well, we've been speaking to a lot of people today. We've done pretty, pretty good. There's a cafe right on here. So this is going to be closed now. But there's the bean, the lily bean calf next to the music store. Uh, the blacksmith, we didn't get time to visit, but it's right here. It's going to be closed now as well. Who's this old guy? Well, it looks, it looks like an old guy. Uh, it's Jeff. Je Jeff A. Jeff A. Hello, new friend. You're a new farmer, yes? Then you'll need tools. So he's the blacksmith. When you have this need, you come to Jeff A. All of my work is sturdy, well made, and at fair price. The mayor also told me to teach you the ways of blacksmithing. Talk to Jeff A when you are ready to learn, boss. Alright then, Jeff A. I'll talk to you when I'm ready to learn. But yeah, it's closed right now, but at least we know where the blacksmith is when we want it. Okay, well, uh, I think we've just about done everything right now. These are a lot of houses, so this is where people are living on this main street here. You've got to be friends in order to get them uh, to visit them and be able to enter their house. So this is a big living space here, all the way around. Did we do anything in the journal? No, we didn't visit the blacksmith, did we? The farm shop? I thought we did that. I thought we visited the furniture store and the calf. And the... Hmm. We visited every shop apart from the ones we needed to. Darn it. Well, let's head back home. Which one are we again? Oh yeah, we're right down the bottom, right? So we go down this back lane. Ooh, who's this first? There's somebody else who I've not seen yet. This is Nicholas. Hello there, Bonita. How wonderful, how wonderful to see a new face in Pumpkinvale. I'm Nicholas and I run the flower store. If you're interested in beekeeping or beekeeping or making dyes and fabric or wallpaper, you'd want to grow your own flowers. I hope you will buy some. Oh, wow, that's cool. And who's this guy as well? I can't see because of the tree. Oh, it's Sebastian. Sebastian. Hey, bird. Are you the new farmer? All right, nice to meet you. I'm Sebastian. I run the farm shop, so I guess we'll be seeing each other a lot. If you ever need seeds or fertilizer, just come and chat with me. 
The mayor also asked me to tell you about growing crops. When you're ready to chat about it, just let me know. Let's head over to my shop and I'll teach you about farming. Oh, here we go. We're doing it right now, even though it's night time. This is where you can get all the seeds. Our stock rotates out daily since sometimes they sell out or use them myself. So if there is seeds you want, get them whilst you can. Keep a close eye on the season as well. When the season changes, your crops will die. That's about it. I'm sure we'll be seeing each other a lot. Don't forget to get started on your farming quota. The mayor is counting on us to grow enough produce to help the town grow. Take care, bud. Okay, so... That's what we've got to do then. Can we buy seeds now? Oh, I think we can. What? Oh, I've just bought a lettuce. I don't, oh, damn it. I didn't mean to do that. I want seeds, not... Darn it. Sharky, darn it. So, potato seeds, can we... Oh, it's only one. Hmm, damn, let's get five. Also, there's some... What are these ones? Barley. You know what? These are a little bit more expensive. We've only got 30 left. Let's just do two. Now, what other seeds have we got down here? We shouldn't be buying, by the way. <laughs> this is uh, broken. Let's get five kidney beans or kidney things. Yep, turnips too. We've got lots of seeds, guys. We've got lots of seeds. And, whoa, a macadamia tree. Well, we haven't gone for that just yet. Okay, well, let's go. And here's the farm shop. And it spawned us right near our home because that's where we live. So that's perfect. Look at that. Maybe we can plant some of these um, crops quickly. We've just got loads of energy and it's 9.30 p.m. This is what farming's all about. This is what farming's all about. Okay, well, the watering can's empty. We've not got much stamina. I don't know if we're going to be able to do all these. Oh, definitely not, actually. And we've collapsed. We don't even get a warning. We could have got some kind of warning saying, just be careful. We've actually got no money, so <laughs> I don't know what's going to happen here. Oh, okay. Well, at least we get to sort, uh, take a little look at this. 10% of your gold? What? Be careful now. Well, we only have, like, 10 anyway, so you just charged me one coin. <laughs> Oh, okay. Well, let's, let's have a look. Yeah, so his charge is one coin. So if we had thousands, they would have took quite a lot off. Oh, now I'm really far back down here again, and it's 12 p.m. I'm not even slept. Look at my stamina. We spent the whole night in the hospital. Oh, darn it. Well, guys, that's going to be the end of Pumpkin Days, this video. Hopefully you enjoyed that. I actually quite enjoyed playing that. It was very fun, and I can't wait to keep playing this more. I mean, I don't know if you guys want to see more or not. Oh, who's this? Sister Joanne. But uh, if you do, make sure to leave a comment. And like I said, do leave some feedback and stuff down in the comments below as well, because the developers might be able to answer some questions and take a look as well. And I'll also answer some questions too. But it's on Steam, early access right now. Go and give it a try. You will enjoy this game, I can guarantee. And there's going to be loads of updates and they are looking to expand and build the game as big as they can. But yeah, I might make some more videos on this in the future for sure, especially if some new updates come out. I'd like to give them a try out myself. But make sure to subscribe if you're new around here. Share the video with all your friends to let them know about Pumpkin Days. If you do love yourself a nice farming RPG game, then this is definitely worth trying out if you do like that kind of genre. But thank you all for watching. That's all we've got time for, and I am going to go. And until then, guys, I will see you on the next farming adventure. Stay safe, stay awesome, and peace.